for this uh, project, we worked uh, near with the pathologists in the university uh, clinic in Erlangen. And yeah, um, studies uh, showed that tumor budding is an uh, independent prognostic factor because the probability of lymph node mysostasis correlates with the number of tumor buds in a section. So uh, if you look at a tumor bud normally, uh, the tumor doesn't grow like my palm here, but um, it spreads extensions like fingers. And if you slide it, um, you, uh, um, you receive these little buds, as you see in the image. Mm -hmm. um, a tumor bud could, uh, also isn't necessarily a single cell, but could also be a cell cluster with up to four cells. And it isn't necessary that the cells in the cluster are directly connected. But uh, the cell cluster or the cells aren't allowed to connect to the main tumor in the tissue. Also, if the tissue is uh, ripped or overlapping um, in the section, um, they aren't allowed to count it there. So for our material, we have 87 uh, stains slides and scanned with a 40x um, magnification uh, um, by two different scanners and manual annotated by experts. We then split up the database into three uh, disjoint databases um, and started our two-step approach. So we have first a classical image processing approach and after that a CNN. Um, for the classical um, image analysis approach, we first uh, use the blue channel of uh, the image that we receive, smooth it with a median filter and binarize it with the OTSO threshold algorithm. Uh, algorithm. We then make a distance check to see if the tumor buds are connected to a cluster or are connected to um, the main tissue with uh, morphological opera uh, operations and detect our um, control based on the binarized images and calculate after that our region of interest. So as a first result, just for the classical um, approach, we have a quite high sensitiv uh, sensitivity but a very low precision. Um, we have a high number of false positive um, sub, uh, from artifacts or for um, det detected tumor buds in wrong tissue areas. So um, we decided to use a simple AlexNet to classify um, the tumor buds if there are real tumor buds or false candidates or artifacts. We um, resizes, um, also we trained it from the comparison with the ground truth from our training, our training database after um, using the first step. Resize the result um, images to the 227 uh, to 227 uh, pixel um, resolution for AlexNet and train 100 images per batches. Um, after that, uh, the precision uh, went uh, very high and we even keep um, nearly our initialized uh, in initial sensitivity. Um, so to summarize, um, with just the classical detection step, we have a high number of false positives that lowers our precision, but after applying a simple AlexNet, um, we uh, can reduce the false positives and keep our sensitivity quite high. So uh, that was it from my side. Thank you for your attention. And I'm open for questions now or uh, also later at the poster uh, view in the room 1.01. Uh, Thank you. Any questions? You do? Okay, thanks, uh, nice work. Um, actually, we, we did a, a real study on uh, tumor buds in uh, cytokarvin stain sections, and we found that even though you would not expect it, uh, pathologists have very low reproducibility in detecting buds and, and uh, deciding whether it is a bud or it's not a bud. How did you do this in your ground truth? Because your, your numbers um, uh, seem very good, but of course, it all depends on the ground truth. So um, we have one um, pathologist that first um, annotates all the tumor buds with three different classes, true, false, and unsure, and then two other pathologists with more experience reject the annotations. 
and that you check how well they uh, correspond? They correspond quite well. So um, there were about 5% difference. Okay. I think I need your apologies. <laughs> Germans are more precise. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other questions? I have one more question. I think, uh, uh, so you achieved a quite uh, substantial sensitivity and specificity. Uh, in your opinion, or maybe you have done some initial studies, is this uh, sufficient to give some kind of, uh, uh, to extract a prognosis significant biomarker um, for uh, colorectal cancer patients? Um, normally we would uh, do this in an H&E staining, uh, because the pancit to carotene staining isn't paid for, or it's more expensive. Um, uh, but um, if you look at the tumor parts in an H&E staining, they are much harder to detect there. So um, we worked with the pathologist at the university clinic and they want to establish a new standard with, uh, H uh, with, uh, for the H&E um, staining, uh, uh, for the pancytocarotene staining for detecting the tumor parts. Thank you. Um,